Man, I hope. I'm freaking drunk already, guys. I'm already drunk, all right? Oh, that is good, man. That is good. I'm so happy right now. Uh. I've been waiting, waiting for this. What is good dudes and dudettes? It's Demise Media here. I am freaking super excited. I'm stoked because I've been looking for this specific beer for months. I've been reading about it, watching videos, watching other people drink this beer, and I've been getting so into it. Like I really, I got these, you know, waiting for the Hofbräu Oktoberfest beer. So this stuff here, I've read a lot of good things and I've wanted to try it for the longest time. Finally found it and the only downside is that me and the people that work at this store, Bevmo, in San Mateo, they don't know if it's an old batch or a new batch. And the reason why I asked that is because one, it was already in the fridge Usually, the new beers are like not refrigerated and there was like dust on it. So I was like, is this batch new? And he said, honestly, I don't know. I'm sorry. I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'll buy it anyway. So Oktoberfest beer. You can tell it's uh, got Halloween lights. It's the end of August. It's almost September. So it says a uh, German Martzen slash Oktoberfest. The Oktoberfest originated in 1810 in Munich, Germany as a wedding celebration for the Crown Prince Ludwig of Bavaria. This product was created especially for this event and is brewed for the Oktoberfest, now the largest beer festival in the world. Oktoberfest, I believe it takes place in late September. Um, so here, look, this is the, uh, the Hofbräu I've been waiting for. But I've also been able to try the Paulana Martin Oktoberfest beer, which is year-round. The Paulana Oktoberfest beer, which is um, seasonal. This stuff is 6%. It's freaking good. Let me know if you want me to do a review on that one. And this one is not technically an Oktoberfest beer, but it is a fest beer from one of the oldest breweries in the world. Weihenstefana or whatever you call it. This one is good. This is just an amazing German beers, the German purity law, where it's like only four ingredients. It's just amazing. So I am freaking excited. I hope you guys can see that I'm very, very excited to get my hands on this. So let's go ahead and peep the teep. Okay, pour it in. Man, I hope, I freaking hope that this is a new batch and not an old batch of beer because there's no expiration date on the bottle, I guess. I've been looking. I messed up. I messed up, guys. This is what I was supposed to be drinking out of. This is a liter, and you're supposed to prost drink out of this, which I should have poured it in there, but oh well. Okay, look at that, man. That is... See, here's the thing that I've learned watching other people's videos. Is that a lot of times, Oktoberfest beer, people think that it's going to be more of a Merzen style or a Mar Marzen, but I think it's pronounced Merzen, which is more like this, which is brown and, and uh, more of an ale color, more of an amber color. But I think that's how they used to brew them back in the day, was more of that 
Meritzen dark amber color, and now they make them more like this, more of like a blonde color. And yeah, dude. So like, let's go, dude. Look at that. I gotta take a picture and send it to my my peeps. All right, everybody. This is the moment of freaking demise media truth, fact or fiction beyond belief. Okay, so, prost everybody, cheers. <sighs> Smells good. Oh my God, that is, that is pretty fucking good. Oh, that is pretty damn good right there. You can taste, I am not a professional, I'm not gonna get into it, I'm not a beer review channel that much. You can taste the alcohol content in there, but it is not strong, like it doesn't taste like a, what is it, 6%, 6 percent, 6 point something. It's smooth, it's very smooth, it's crisp, it's very light. Oh, that is good, man. It, it reminds me of the Hofbräu original, but it just has more Umph to it, it has more flavor, stronger. It's, it's stronger. I like a strong beer, you know. Oh, that is good, man. That is good. I'm so happy right now. <clears throat> I've been waiting, waiting for this months, watching videos, checking online is it in stock is it in stock and nowhere has had it in stock until like yesterday so i drove out about like 30 minutes from where i live to pick it up and i was just like dude awesome this is insane man Holy shit. This is smooth. This is freaking smooth. Let me compare it with these ones, okay? I'll do a video where I'll, I'll drink all four and get totally freaking shit face for everybody. But this one here is strong. It's 6% and you can taste it. It's very smooth but there's also a lot of bite to it. The Palana Oktoberfest beer. Now the Palana Oktoberfest Meritzen original one, the old one that they used to drink, it's only like 5.8% and it's a totally different style. It's dark, It's um, it's got like cinnamony notes to it, but the flavor's not as strong as the scent. And this one here, not technically a um, Oktoberfest beer. This is just fucking smooth, like very, very smooth. So super smooth, but it doesn't really count. And between these two, I think that this Hofbräu is just like amazing. Like, yeah, th this one is definitely easier to drink than the Palana or the Paul Laner. And I've had a bunch of these, I like them, but it's kind of potent. This one here is fucking smooth, man. Mm. Damn. The Oktoberfest, the Oktoberfest originated in 1810 in Munich, Germany as a wedding celebration for the Crown Prince Ludwig Bavaria. This product was created especially for the event and is brewed usually for the Oktoberfest 
Yeah. Oh, 6.3%. So the alcohol content in the Hofbräu is more than the Paulana or Paulaner, and it's smoother. The Hofbräu is smoother. Oh my gosh, man. Every video that I watch of people saying this beer is like a 10 out of 10, they're right, they're correct. And it's not because I'm just saying that to follow everyone else's trend. There's a reason why this beer is regarded as like a superior 10 out of 10 action. It's fucking amazing. You can't even taste the, the potency of the alcohol that much. They're not lying, I'm not lying. This is an amazing 6.3% light colored, strong, delicious, thirst quenching, summertime beer. Yeah, so you gotta be careful with this beer. It's not one that you should like chug like four or five in a one hour span. Enjoy it. Pour it in a freaking glass, a chilled glass, sip it, go outside with your friends, barbecue, eat some good food, drink some good beer. Have a good conversation, all that stuff. I'm so, I'm so happy that I came across this beer finally. And thank you all so freaking much. I, uh, I do these videos for fun. And I'm freaking drunk already, guys. I'm already drunk. All right? Okay. 10 out of 10. I like this beer a lot. I love it. I got the freaking Hofbräu branded Steins, whatever the hell they're called. Good shit, man. Good shit. Look at that. Hofbräu Oktoberfest beer. Cheers, everybody. Have a good summer because before you know it, it's going to be over. It's going to be autumn, fall, my favorite freaking season. And that's when we're going to start putting on the freaking sweaters, the beanies, and start drinking the Guinness and eating soup. Peace.